Hi, welcome to my video. Um, this video is um, about how you can find um, a fast proxy server um, to use on the internet. Um, now quickly, just to start off, uh, a proxy server, as you probably know, is uh, a computer that sits in between you and a web server or a device that you're visiting. Um, the reason people use um, proxy servers are generally to get past internet blocks. Um, say if you're in a country like Iran or China, lots of internet sites get blocked. If you use a proxy server, you can effectively bypass these blocks. The other reason um, people use them to get past um, country based blocks like um, you can't watch Hulu, for instance, the American media site from anywhere outside the US. Um, BBC iPlayer only works in the UK. If you use a proxy server based in the country that the application is, so a British one for BBC iPlayer, an American one for Hulu, you can watch them perfectly well. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so that's a proxy server. Now, first of all, it's important, I think, to get a fast proxy server because otherwise your internet connection will be painful. Um, unfortunately, although there are thousands and thousands of free proxy servers out there available, um, most of them are pretty hopeless. Um, but what I'll do is I'll show you now um, how you can use a free proxy server and the problems you can get using it. Okay, now I use a program called Proxy Goblin, which harvests, um, looks at the internet, finds all free proxy servers available. Okay, you can um, see the web page for Proxy Goblin in the description link below. Okay, well, I've told it to harvest a few. Um, let me just get up a little list. There we go. Oops. A list of proxies. Uh, these are all free proxies from all over the world. Um, which I've got from Proxy Goblin. Uh, now I'm going to show you how you set up a proxy manually. Uh, I'm going to use Chrome for this. Um, it's pretty similar for um, using different other programs as well. If you use IE or um, Firefox, you'll find them in similar places. Okay, you go into the Chrome settings and you here you need to show the advanced settings. And what you're looking for is the network and it's got change proxy settings. You'll get this screen. This is the same for Internet Explorer as well. Then you need to go down to LAN settings, click OK there. And now we need to put a proxy server in. Right, I've got a few here. Let's just take one at random. So you put in the address of the proxy server here. So I'm just picking one at random that my software is harvested, 100. And then you have to specify the port it uses. So you've got to use the same port. And just click OK. OK. Right. Now, when I start Chrome up now, all my um, internet traffic will be routed through this proxy server. OK. So let's just try it. Um, and you can see this what happens. Um, it is trying to load, but there's a problem. This is because of free proxies. Um, this proxy was probably working fine when I harvested it about an hour ago. Um, it's either too slow or it's failing to, it, it's being overloaded basically. So I basically stuffed my internet connection. Let me just try one more quickly. Um, we'll take another one and I'll show you one that hopefully is working. Um, settings, advanced settings again. Let's find the network part. There we go. Change proxy settings. I get this little dialog out. This is Windows 7, by the way, but kind of similar in most of them. Uh, now, this server was working. Um, 38.68.14.136 and the port is 8089 for this one. There'll be all sorts of different ports. OK, OK, and click. And this one works, OK? So um, this one's working pretty well, actually. Ah, no. 
uh, under reload. Okay, so that's working. That's not too bad. It's a little bit, quite a bit slower than my normal internet connection. The main issue with this, this proxy will work for who knows? It might work for an hour. It might work for 10 minutes. It might work for um, a day. They'll rarely last longer than that. And you have to go through this process of finding another proxy. Um, this is one of the fastest ones I've found today. But um, And you can find them. Of course, the, the huge advantage is they're free. Okay, But that's how you do it. Now, what I'm going to do is now show you how to use a, um, a paid one that I use, a service. Let me just click and I'm going to uh, you should always um, disable this you know, take your proxy off after you've finished um, so I'm going to just untick that box okay okay and close and I'm no longer using a proxy anymore okay and I'll just close that as well okay now um, now I'm going to show you how to use uh, a paid proxy and which will be much faster. So I'm just using Hulu now. Let me go and try and access Hulu. Uh, I'm in the UK at the moment, and you can see if I try and access Hulu, I get blocked, okay? Only watch through the US, okay? So what I'm gonna do is show you a program called Identity Cloaker, which I have been using for many years, um, which actually gives you a whole um, network of private VPN and proxy servers for people to use. Okay. Uh, and it's software. It just sits in your taskbar here. And then when you need to connect through a proxy, you can just click through to whichever one you want. Um, so I want to watch Hulu. I want to watch Family Guy, the latest Family Guy. Um, so what I do is I scroll down and look for the right country. There's loads in Germany, Switzerland, Australia, Canada, blah, 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 wherever you want. And I pick a fast American one. I double click, wait for it to connect, and I'm connected. I can change the encryption level there if I need, but now I'm routed through an American proxy server. If I start Chrome, it's now routing all my connection. I've, I'm completely secure at this point because nobody, no website can see my IP address. These are well configured proxies. Let's just whiz over to Hulu. and family guy and watch play and here we go it's running this is because hulu no thinks i'm in america i'm running a super fast american server so i can stream hd or anything and there won't be a, an issue um you can do it the you can do it the free way it does involve a lot of stop starting and searching and sometimes you just won't even find a, a, a proxy to use that one i showed you the fast free one that i found was about my eighth go at trying them i had to go in and try um so it can be done um proxy goblin is the um little proxy harvester that i use you can find it in the description below um if you've got the money and you want to use you want something reliable safe secure and most of all a fast proxy i'd go with one of the paid subscriptions they're not an awful lot of money and they save you a lot of grief anyway i hope this has been useful for you um and um i hope you've enjoyed the video thank you for watching